nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello. So it was a long time since I played pool because I have been moving, moving furniture, installing new stuff, and you see it behind me. There's some speakers there, and a computer, and uh, I have. Um, I have made some changes in my home and I haven't had time to play pool so let's see how it goes and right now it is the winter time so very cold outside minus seven degrees Celsius and I need to have three layers of clothing on me because the radiators are very old it is very cold inside so I don't have a choice uh, other than to wear three layers of clothing and two pairs of socks two pairs of sacks and uh, I need to have a mask on otherwise I freeze in, in my head I also have a hood here for extra extra warmth and uh, uh, before I play pool I'm going to take off the third third layer to make it easier to play so let, let's let's try how, how it goes and uh, when you haven't played pool regularly you need to use strategy to be to be able to win the game because I don't have any skill because to, to get skill you need to play every day okay many times a week is what you need to do you need to play many times a week to keep your skill you, you have a good cue ball control and everything but if you don't play so much maybe you play once a month only you need to rely on strategy to win because you can't rely on cue ball control okay so let's see let's try and see how it goes i will take off this this also just for a short period and i, I have been wearing these three layers the entire day just to warm my body up now it's time to just take off as much as possible and I will, I will be able to play maybe half an hour before I start freezing. Okay, so let's start. And I'm be, I have been doing the Wim Hof method. And the book, the book is not there. I, I put the book beside my bed, but I have a Wim Hof method book uh, about the cold therapy. So I'm used to the cold, so it doesn't bother me. Okay, so let's start. Long time since I played. And uh, I'll rack the balls. Let's play, play ten ball. Ten ball with the breaks. And I will teach you uh, how to win with strategy. I don't have skill. I need to rely on my brain to be able to win the game. So let me rack the balls. And these balls are uh, quite dirty. They are quite dirty, so I need to play differently. It's uh, tougher to win. Okay, so I will just break. You want in ten ball. You want to break somewhere from this area. Okay, somewhere in this area, and then you you want to make the corner ball four rails. One, two, three, four into that corner pocket. You can do the same thing from the other side here. You break from here. You make the two ball. One, two, three, four rails into the corner. And that is the, that is the ball that usually goes in. So you need to focus on that ball. And you, you, need, to, you need to break with the correct speed to make that happen. So I will do that. Okay, so let me break. I follow through the cue. Now there's the two ball. Now I it did not go in. And I scratched on the brake shot. Let me make another brake shot. I think this, this was not straight. That is why the two ball did not go in. Let me break again. So if you angle the rack, then the 
corner ball will not go in. It needs to be straight. So that is something the opponent can do to you if he racks the balls that he angles the rack so you're not able to make the corner ball. But now it looks straight. It looks straight now, so let's try again. I try to make it two ball, four rails. Uh, oops, no. I think I hit, uh, yeah, I know the problem. The balls are dirty. I think that is a problem. What, what else can it be? So I will just uh, pause this video. I will clean, clean the balls. I will, I will come back soon. Okay. Okay, I have cleaned the balls now, so they are shiny and slippery. And they are in my machine here. And I will take them out. You should have like, some gloves on when you take out the balls from the machine. So you don't make the balls oily, but because I, I need to wrap the balls anyway, I, I will still be touching the balls. But at least I can avoid it a little bit when I take out the balls with one hand, with, with my glove hand, so I don't add unnecessary oil to the balls. Okay. And always touch with your glove hand. Always touch the balls, but uh, you still need to touch half of the balls with your other hand, so you don't have a choice, but you, you can minimize the, the amount of contact by trying to use your glove hand when you wrap the balls. So just, you only use your other hand as little as possible. And most, mostly touch with your glove hand. So now let's try if the break goes better with the clean balls. Okay, now the six ball, corner ball, six ball, four rails into the corner. Yeah, you see that? You, you saw that the six ball was taking this path because the balls are clean. And with the dirty balls, it would have gone this way. So it, it's a big difference uh, with uh, depending on how clean the balls are. So right now I would have made the, the, the ball in, in this pocket if maybe the balls would have been maybe a couple hours uh, dirty. You have, if I had played a couple hours then the corner ball would have gone in. But now because the balls are clean what will I do? How can I make the corner ball in this pocket? It's by shooting harder. I need to break harder to, to be able to make uh, the corner ball. Because when I hit, shoot harder, it's going to take this kind of angle instead of going too, sh too long. So I will try to break harder. Okay. Seven ball, four rails into the corner. Whoops. Oh, I got a double kiss there. Uh, I didn't uh, break, I didn't hit the cue ball good at all. As you can see, it is spinning. It not hit it straight on. Because if you try to shoot harder in the break shot, you are not going to have as good accuracy when hitting the cue ball. So let's try this break shot again. And the nine ball is what I should make in this corner pocket. But I try to I need to avoid the double kiss. So what I do is I change the position of the cue ball in this break shot. Just to try to avoid the double kiss. Okay, so let's see what happens. Nine ball, four rails. Okay. 
Ready to go. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. It went in. And uh, the the third ball helps the nine go in, but the, the nine would have ended up uh, hitting the rail on this spot. So that means that I need to break even harder to make uh, the corner ball go in. You need to break even harder, and that's very really difficult if you haven't played pool for a long time. But very difficult. So what I will do this time is that I will break, I will, I will change the position of the cue ball more to the, uh, towards the rail. And this really shows uh, the difference of the dirty balls versus clean balls. That the corner ball takes another pass around the table when hitting the uh, cushions. Now I will break from here, a little to the right than the first time. Now it's, a, it's, a, it's the seven ball I need to make, four rails into the corner. Let's see, yep, yep, it was, it was going, but I got a double kiss there. And I, I had pretty good position on the one ball to finish this rack. But I want to show you that uh, because of these balls are so clean, I'm getting a double kiss every time. And I need to try to avoid that. So I'm going to... Uh, right now this, this uh, magic rack is in the exact same spot. So I, I will move... Uh, I will try to break from this side instead because that side was not working. I tried it three different places. Here, here, and here, I got the double keys in all of them. So I will try to break uh, from the left side instead. Let's see if the nine ball can go four rails into the corner without a double kiss. Yep, I got a double kiss instantly. And that happens with the clean balls. Every time I get a double kiss. So that is unfortunate. For me, when I, I haven't played a, a long time and I can't get a good break shot. I can't get a good break shot at all. But uh, you saw that the, what, what position worked best for me. Uh, it, it worked best when I moved the cube a little closer to the center. So let's continue with that. And see if we can... If we can... Uh, avoid the double kiss from the left side as well so let me break from this spot six ball four rails yeah I will try to break hard yeah I got the double kiss so the left side does not work at all because I get the double kiss early so I need to break from the right side And I think that is because this magic rack is angled a little bit uh, to, to, to this side. Okay. So I need to break from, from the right side. So I will continue to do that. And that way I will avoid the double kiss. Yeah. Now it is a nine ball, four rails into the corner, and I will break from the spot that worked best for me. It was this, this spot. Okay, so nine ball, four rails into the corner. Oops, I got, I did not hit the center of the cue ball. And I will do it again. It's going to be a break shot tutorial how to find the, the correct break just from uh, trial and error and eventually it's going to get easier and easier the dirtier the balls become yeah now it's the two ball I want to make four rails. And I did not hit it so good. 
the last time. I'll, I'll try to break a little softer this time, just to be able to get more accuracy. Okay, that was a soft, fast break. And you see that the two balls hit the rail here because I shot it soft. So I need to shoot harder to be able to get grip from this, these cushions to, get, to make the two ball go into the corner. And if you, if you start your match in a tournament uh, with clean balls, you need to be, be aware of the, of this that uh, you may not be able to make a ball in the break but later in the match you can attempt for uh, the corner ball the sixth ball for red because uh, the, the dirtier the balls become the, the more they grip the rail so they grip tighter they grip the rail more so you get this kind of angle like I showed you in the beginning in the beginning of this video where I showed you that the corner ball hit the rail there and now the corner ball is going to hit the rail there because the balls are clean so that makes a really big difference so the amount of dirt on the cue ball would be perfect somewhere between very dirty and clean so just medium dirty balls and that will make the corner ball go in in, in the break shot so I will I will break from this spot again, but this time I will break harder to compensate for the lack of grip of the rails. Okay, try to break harder. There you go. Yeah, no. Yeah, I hit the rail there. And it, I will try to break more from this, from closer to the rail. And I will try to break hard again. And I, I'm starting to uh, be able to break harder and harder with every break. And I haven't played pool for a long time. And getting a, getting a hard break shot is very difficult if you haven't played pool for a long time, so... Okay, so let me put the ball here this time. I'm trying to break. And last time I broke from here, I got the double kiss. So let's, so let's see what will happen this time when the balls are a little dirtier, just a little bit. I'm trying to break hard and make two ball, four rails into the corner. I got the double kiss again, but I, I made the, the one ball into the side pocket. Okay, so let me break again. Uh, you see that the, having having clean the balls is a disadvantage in the break shot in the 10 ball. So what you want to do is uh, maybe try to make the one ball in, in the side pocket instead of try, trying for the uh, corner ball because right now the corner ball is not going because the balls are too clean. So what you do is uh, you try to play with speed, try to make the one ball in the side pocket. So let me try I will, break, I will start to break some, somewhere from there and then I will fine tune uh, the position. Okay? I will try to break so soft the first time. And there you go, you see, the one ball was, one ball hit, hit the rail on, the, on this side. So I need to change the position and move the cube more to the right. And you also see the corner ball hit the rail there. So that's a good sign, I, I, I'm, fi I'm finding the correct speed. It is very important to find the correct speed uh, in the break shot to be able to make the balls, very important. You don't need to break as hard as possible. 
just need to find the optimal speed depending on the dirtiness of the balls. Okay, so now the one ball hit the rail there, so I, I move the cue ball a little more to the right here. There. Let's see if the one ball will go in now. And as a backup, I might make a three ball, four rails into that corner. Okay? I'll just move it a little bit because it was so close to the side pocket. So this time I'll try to break with the same speed. Try to make hit it, try to hit it straight, and the one ball might go in. There you go. Ooh, look at it. It hit the tip. It hit the tip of the of the pocket. So that is very close. Now I need to move the cube a little more to the right. Okay, so let's do that. So this is a good uh, tutorial for you to find the optimal break spot of the cue ball to be able to make either the corner ball into the corner or the one ball into the side pocket and this time I, I will move the cue ball a little more I, first I had it here one ball hit the rail there then I moved it a little here one ball hit the tip now I will move the cue ball a little more to the right like that and now the one ball should go in. No, it's not going. And I, I didn't hit it straight on. You need to hit the one ball straight to be able to make the one ball take this path into the side pocket. And uh, this is a very difficult game. And the, the brake shot is, uh, you can easily control the brake shot with some practice. And I will do it again. Uh, I started deep in this spot, moved it here, and moved it a little more to the right, like that. And I'll try to hit the, the one ball straight. There you go. Ooh, I hit. I hit this side of the of the side pocket, and the corner ball hit hit there. And I, I actually hit the one ball too much to the right. That is why the one ball hit the rail on that side. If I had hit the one ball straight on, the one ball would have gone in into the side pocket. So I just, I found the good spot here, and I would just need to hit the one ball straight to make it go in. So I will rack the balls again. And I will try to place the cue ball in the same spot. First it was here, then it was here, and then even more here. And now I'll try to hit the one ball straight on with the same speed, important to use the same speed. Oh, I got a double kiss there. I got a double kiss. The corner ball gave a double kiss and I made both of those balls because of the double kiss. So, yeah, I made two balls here. So that, that, is, a, that, that is a possibility of what can happen if you get the double kiss. So if I miss the side pocket with the one ball and I get the double kiss the corner ball which comes from, from this direction hitting the one ball makes a double kiss and the corner ball goes in this pocket and the one ball goes in this pocket so I found a good I found a good uh, break spot there because I, I got the double kiss and made two balls So let's see if I can uh, do it again. Uh, I, I made this a uh, kind of temple video, temple breaking video, a few years ago, and I got the exact same result. 
that I got a double kiss break where I made the balls with the double kiss I find a good spot on the on the cloth where I would break from. So let's try it again. Try to make the one ball. Yeah, look at that. Double kiss again. I made a ball here, so this this the break shot is working, but not as I want it, but balls are going in. So very important. If balls are going in every time, then it is working. The break shot is working if the balls are going in. It doesn't matter if, if you get the double kiss, the balls are going in. So you need to keep, keep using uh, the break shot if it's working. Because there are many, many ways how you can make the ball in the break shot. So yeah, this is the spot where I like to break from. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. One ball in the side pocket. And I found the break. I found the break uh, position of the, of the cue ball. And you see that every, every time I break now, I make a ball. Every time. That's, I found the magic spot. And that is the spot you need to find when you break. You need to find the magic spot, the magic speed. And then you continue breaking like that every single time. Uh, on the table you play on. And then when the balls become dirtier and you, you, you realize you don't make any balls anymore, you make some slight changes. And you try to make this corner ball four rails into this corner pocket. But so far uh, I found uh, that this part with the same speed works to make the balls. So let me try it again. Yeah, whoops, very close. And also corner ball, also close. I didn't make any balls this time. So, I will do it again. But you need to be very patient, very patient uh, when you do this. It can be boring to do, but if you want to win the game in the break shot, you must do this. Don't just break randomly. Try to break perfectly. Uh, I'm going to uh, break maybe a little softer this time. No, now I hit it on the... Oh, look at the corner ball, oh, almost went in when I broke it to softer and uh, I I'm going to try to break a little I will, I will try to break harder this time to see what kind of effect you get when you do that this time I will break from the same spot uh, it's here and I will try to break Harder this time, and let's see where the six ball goes. Let's see where the six ball goes. Nope, six ball did not go in. So I need to break. Uh, it actually worked to break uh, softer to make the corner ball go closer to the corner pocket. But uh, if you have dirty balls, then when you break hard, the ball is going to end up hitting here. Let me try it again. Break soft. Break soft. A soft break. Look at the eight ball. Let's see. Yeah. There you go. And now it is getting closer, but it is not going in. And as you see, I made the, I made the one point the break. So that, that was a pretty good break shot. And I will do it again.
I'll try to break hard this time. Let's see where the eight point goes. Okay, whoops, it was going, but I uh, got a double kiss. So when we with the clean balls, if you break hard, it doesn't grip the first two rails. So it takes another pass. Okay. Yeah, let me break again. I will, I will use this, the eight ball again as the, as the corner ball to get the consistency. Because the uh, balls can be different, different size, different uh, amount of dirt on the balls. So I use the same eight ball uh, for, the, for the corner ball. Now I'll use medium speed, not soft, not hard, just medium speed. Like that. Uh, so it is still hitting this side of the corner pocket every time because the balls are still clean. And uh, yeah, I made uh, uh, one ball in the, in the side pocket, so that is okay. That's a good, good uh, break shot. Uh, I'm going to use... Uh, I'm hitting this part of the... this side of the corner pocket every single time. So... I need to try with different speeds to see what, what works best. Let's try that. I'm going to shoot the soft this time. Soft. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it was, it was going this direction, okay, hitting the rail there. Here, look at that. I made three balls in the break. It was working good to, to break soft. Very good. That's a good speed. Let me break again. Uh, you need to be very patient when you when you break. I use the eight ball as the corner ball just for consistency so you can know uh, the differences. And this time I'm gonna break hard. I'll break very hard this time, try to, we will see what will happen with the corner ball. I will lean into the shaft, try to use my weight for extra power in the break shaft. Oops, now I got a double kiss. If you shoot too hard, you get a dub double kiss. Hard, harder to control the balls if you break too hard. But I still made a ball, it was a l lucky. It was just luck that a ball went in when I broke hard. So uh, it worked best to break soft. Soft break. So let me do it again. Okay, same spot. And break soft. Like that, and now the yeah, eight ball was going this direction, hitting the red there, so that was not working. And the one ball hit uh, the rail on, on that side, so I need to uh, I need to break harder to make the one ball go in. Uh, I need to break more. I think I hit the the pack on this side, so the one that is why the one ball did not go in. I need to hit it more in, in the center. I need to hit it straight on. On the one ball, very important. Hit the one ball straight on. No, I hit it. I hit it on the right side. And oops, look at it. Oh, look at that corner ball went in. What does this mean? I need to move the cube more to the right. And that will make the corner ball go in. Okay. So let's do that. 
And then uh, let's see if I can make the corner ball consistently. If I just move the cue ball a little to the right. Because in the last break shot, I hit the one ball on this side. Okay? On this side, because the cue ball went this direction after the contact. So that's the same, same thing as when moving the cue ball a little more to the right and hitting straight on. So I will do that. I will move the cue ball a little bit more to the right and I will hit, it, I will hit the one ball straight on. Whoops, I did not hit it straight on. I need to make the, make the break shot again. So if you, if you move, if you move the, the spot uh, where you break from, then you sometimes you don't hit the balls uh, straight on anymore because you make little changes okay so I will break here a little more to the right and I'll try to hit the one ball straight on no I did not it is more, it's more difficult to with accuracy if you move the, the position of the cue ball to another place, that is because you are so used to the, the stance. You are stepping into the shot and you, you do that the same way as the previous shot, but this time the cue ball had moved to another place, so you end up hitting the, the pack wrong. You, you don't hit it straight on anymore because you are so used to approaching the table from the same position as before, but because the cue is in another place, you end up hitting the pack uh, wrong. So you need, you need to uh, go away from the table and approach approach the shot in a new way. Okay, so I will do that. position there and I hit the pack on that side which made the cue ball go there that break worked better so I will go back to that break shot because that worked better so it is like a cut break and a cut break is a, a break where you cut in, into the one ball which makes the cue ball go this way and hit the rail here and when you do that cut break the cue ball goes away, out of the way from the other balls. Okay, so I will do that. Put the cue ball back to the original position, which I had uh, a few break shots ago. And I will hit the pack on, on the right side, which may, will, make, will make the cue ball hit the way there. And I will use uh, a little bit of right spin, to, to, so that the cue ball does not go too far down after the contact with the rail. Oops, I need to shock the cue, I, I, because I use spin. This is, this is the first time I attempt to use some spin. So I need to shock the cue. And if you are not, if you are only using a center ball, you don't need to shock the cue. But if you are, if you are using spin, you need to shock the cue. Okay, so here I will break from. I will hit the right side of the one ball with little right spin. Like that. No, no, the, it did not go in. So I hit it too thin. I hit the one ball too thin. And so it did not go in. And this rack has moved a little bit. With every break shaft, this rack moves a little bit. This magic rack plastic it is not in exactly the same place every every break shot so you need to keep that in uh, in mind that uh, it is not the perfectly the same every single time 
it's, it's slightly different with every break shot. Uh, here is a good, a good position. I will try to hit a little on the right side of the one ball. There you go. Uh, and see here the corner ball. Uh, very close, very close. So that is a good position. But the one ball hit the hit the rail on that side of the side pocket. So. So if I hit the one ball straight on, the one ball will go in, in the side pocket. If I hit this one ball a little more to, on this side, uh, then the corner ball has a bigger chance to go in. So you have this kind of a, a backup plan that two balls can go in, depending on how straight you hit the one ball. If you hit the one ball a little wrong, then the corner ball might go in. So you have different alternatives. Different things can happen if you find a good position in the brake shot where you will place a few more. So I'll do it again. I'll try to hit it straight on this time. I'll try to hit the one ball straight on. Like that. No. No. Ooh. Yep. One ball uh, hit the rail on that side. So I, I, need to, I will just try to move the cue ball a little bit more to the left just to be able to get the one ball coming up uh, higher up. You need good patience uh, for, for this. Just keep doing this for many hours trying to find the perfect break spot. But you need to do this every time before you play on a specific table. And now I move the cue ball a little more to the left. Let's see if the one ball will go into the side pocket this time. Yeah, there you go, perfect. That's the that's spot there. The one ball went straight into the side pocket. Yeah. And I found the spot right there. I found the spot, I found the speed and it is a really, it can be a pain to do this uh, uh, before you play. You, you just want to start playing pool but you need to find the magic uh, break spot before you start to play. Because uh, then you start to understand more later. If you have a match, you understand what, what goes wrong in the break shot. Then you can quickly adjust uh, just like that. Instead of wondering what is happening. But now, because you have gone, all, gone through all of this, uh, this uh, break uh, spot experiment, you know very quickly how to change the position of the cue ball and what kind of speed to use. And you know exactly what is going to happen if you do that. So you're going to be able to change in the middle of the match and be able to make some balls in the break because you have gone through this experiment. So let me do it again. Try to hit the one ball straight. Ah, no, I did not make it, but the corner ball almost went in. So I will move the ball a little more to the left this time. I want to make the one ball in the side pocket. Yeah. Maybe I broke a little too hard on the last uh, break shot. Uh, I'm looking at the post at the some kind of mark on the cloth to uh, so I can see where to place a cue ball. Little to the left of a mark on the cross. So I will break again, I will break softer this time. Yeah. Ooh, it was close. And a ball it was going almost going into the corner there with a soft break. Right. Yeah. 
So this magic rack is moving a little bit uh, with every brake shot, but I try my best to adjust it into the correct position. Uh, yeah, this time I'm going to brake harder. I'll try to brake very hard at this time. Let's see what will happen. Oops. Uh, there you go. Ooh. Corner ball almost went in into the corner pocket. But I did not hit the pack straight on. Yeah. I just want to start playing and not just keep racking the balls, so it's getting boring. So I think about this, maybe 40 minutes is good enough for this experiment. And then you become bored. Yeah, let's, let me break, let me break hard again this time. Okay, now I got a double piece. Yeah, when you break too hard, you're going to get double pieces. So this is not working. It is, it is not working to break hard in the brake shot. It is not working. You, you need to, it, is, it is better when you break soft and more controlled. Then it is better. So I will continue breaking uh, soft. Okay. Soft and controlled that will make you win the game. There you go. Oh yeah, I made it. I made it. And also, uh, you can use a little bit of top speed on the cue ball. That will give uh, bottom spin on the one ball, which will go, which will make it go further back, further up. Don't use draw on the brake shot. It's just a little bit of top spin, so that when the cue ball hits the pack, it will bounce back, and then with the top spin, it will follow and stay somewhere there in the center of the table. And that's a good, good break shot. And I'm going to do it again. I'm getting cl closer to the end of this video because I have found a good break, break spot. A good break spot here. I'll put the cue ball uh, same spot, uh, somewhere here, yeah. And then break soft. Just a, just a hair of top spin on the cue ball. There you go, perfect! And uh, yeah, the 10th ball helps the 8th ball go into the corner. And later in the match, uh, when the balls become dirtier, then that corner ball is going to go in, in, the, in the pocket over there. Later in the match. But in the beginning, you attempt to make the one ball in the side pocket. And that is how you can win the match. So in the beginning of the match, you attempt to make the one ball in the side pocket. And later in the match, you, you attempt to make the corner ball, four rails, into the corner. Four rails into the corner. That comes later in the match. In the beginning of the match, Make the one ball in the side pocket. This is very good advice for you here. Something that the pros know. Let me put it into the same spot. Uh, soft break, little top spin on the cue ball. And there you go. Three times in a row, I found it. I found the break spot. Three times in a row, I made the one ball in the side pocket, and that uh, my experiment is complete. I found the, how to break in a, in ten ball. I found it with clean balls. Okay, clean balls. Later in the match, you can see that the corner ball is going to go in four rails. But in the beginning, I couldn't make the corner ball go in. In the beginning, just because of the uh, clean balls. I couldn't do that. 
but the one ball was easy to control into the side pocket three times in a row and I'm finished okay so try that yourself when you go to the pool hall uh, touch the balls and, and look at the balls how dirty are these balls okay it's a corner ball going in if it's not try attempt to make the one ball into the side pocket okay so this is the end of the video and the next time goodbye there's nothing else in life than pool play pool play pool